Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would just like to share with you a refillable notebook that I found in National Bookstore a few days ago. This is the notebook. It can take A4 sized paper and I got it in black, but there is also a blue version in a sort of smoky, semi-transparent gray-white color. On the front, it has some information on the features of the notebook. It says the rings don't block your hand when you're writing on the left page, which can be a problem for a lot of people, I know. And you can fold it over, and you can also open the rings to take out the paper and then place in more paper. The price is 249 pesos, which converts to a little less than 5 US dollars. Before discussing the cover and the rings, let me just show you the paper sheets that the notebook came with. There is a simple cover page and then several sheets of paper that is ruled on both sides. The ruling is 7 millimeters, as it says right here on the bottom of each sheet. The papers inside the notebook are already punched this way. I'm not sure what kind of notebook has this ring configuration though. I don't use such a notebook, but if you are familiar with this, please let me know in the comments. Of course, paper quality is very important to me, so I tested out the paper here using one of my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens that I used for my Hyperdex 7 on my planner. And I also used one of my Pilot Metropolitans with a fine nib loaded with Noodler's Heart of Darkness. By the way, I will have a review of the Heart of Darkness very soon on my channel. The ink, not the novel. And surprisingly, neither the fountain pen nor the watercolor brush bled through on the paper and I was very, very impressed. I folded the notebook back on itself and the movement was smooth and felt sturdy. I did not feel at all like the spine was going to break and I like that. The notebook is actually just a plastic folder of reasonable stiffness, not too stiff but not too soft, and it has a very thin spine with four holes near the top and four holes near the bottom. The rings are made of a clear plastic. They're actually not independent rings, but they are connected to each other because of this rod that is connected to the spine. And according to the instructions printed on the last paper inside the notebook, the rings can be opened by squeezing the first and last ring at the top and the first and last ring at the bottom like so. And they can be closed by squeezing them shut again like so. The instructions also say that you can take out one half of each ring and then remove the entire ring mechanism if you want, although I don't really know what for. I'm encountering this kind of notebook for the very first time, so I don't really know what to use it for except as an actual notebook. I tried doing that. I did. I was able to take out half of the ring mechanism at the top and then the other half of the ring mechanism at the bottom as instructed, and it was also easy to push the detachable parts back into the mechanism. As you can see, you just have to remember to hold the spine of the detachable part and not the actual rings because the rings feel as if they might break if you put too much pressure on them. But I had difficulty trying to detach the rest of the ring mechanism from the notebook. I was worried I would break it. I don't think I would have any reason to take the ring mechanism out anyway, so I just stopped right there. Honestly, the rings do not feel very sturdy to me. I think they have the tendency to shatter, but I think that would not be too much of a problem because of the way the notebook is structured. The cover is one large sheet with two folds that create a very thin spine, like you can see here, and that alone already provides integrity to the notebook, even if the ring mechanism is not made of very sturdy material. The rings are really just there to turn the cover into a notebook. Without the rings, this would just be a folder. So, because I believe the cover itself has enough integrity and strength to keep the rings from shattering, I decided to try to use this notebook as a holder for loose A4 note paper, but not with the paper that it came with. I wanted to be able to use my own paper. I used this grid note paper that I made for myself. I designed this entire sheet on InDesign and printed them out on 100 GSM A4 paper. I used this brand called Paper One. I talked about these grid note paper in a previous video which I will link down below. I figured I could use this notebook for notes that don't have to go into a permanent file. When I'm done with the notes, I can scan them into my computer and then pass on the original notes to other people who might need them.
But first I have to figure out how to actually punch the right holes into my own grid note paper. I tried out punching holes using my Carl Tozical Puncher. I have talked about this before in a few videos and I will link them all down below. But when I tried putting the sheet into the holes of the notebook, the paper didn't fit. So I then decided to just punch holes into the grid note paper one by one. After all, there are only eight holes. It won't be too difficult or time consuming. I took out my eyelet maker, which can punch holes that are exactly five millimeters in diameter. I used this recently to make two different notebook planners for Jawide, and I will link the two videos down below. I used one of the ruled note paper that came with the notebook as a template and punched out the eight holes. And then when I was done, I put them into the rings and of course, it fit. So I proceeded to punch holes in my own grid note paper using the same method. I simply grabbed as much note paper as I could fit to fill up the thickness of the notebook completely, as you can see in this shot right here, and punched all of that paper. I must have punched about 30 sheets and I was pretty happy with the results. But here's what I found out. If the notebook is completely filled, it was hard to turn the pages and folding the notebook under itself actually deformed the paper. So what I did was I took out half of the paper that I put in and that completely solved the problem. I was able to fold the notebook under itself and I was able to turn the pages smoothly. I'm really looking forward to using this notebook. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will get to you soonest. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!